Have you ever had to deal with gossip in the workplace? This is Jody Ann Johnson, people champion and strategist with the 87th episode of Coffee with Jody. During Pride Month, we've been talking about diversity, inclusion, and belonging. And today we're going to talk about one of the things that can happen in the workplace that is just devastating to the workplace, to the morale in the workplace, and to the person who's being gossiped about. Now imagine, you're walking through the workplace and you hear, can you believe that she dot dot dot? Imagine how the person that they're talking about would feel. Maybe this has happened to you and you know firsthand how it feels. Gossip in the workplace can have a devastating impact on people's lives and on the business itself. I want to share with you three things. One, what is gossip? And I'll share with you some statistics about gossip. And lastly, what could you do about it in your workplace? In case you're not clear about what gossip is, it's rumors, it's spreading false information, it's not stopping the spread of false information that you're aware of, ridicule, belittling, and humiliation, and leaks of personal or confidential information. Now, there's a particular quality to gossip, which is very distinct from a workplace conversation. How you know it's gossip is it attacks the person's moral character, where a conversation about somebody in the workplace is largely about performance or something that they need to be doing or they're, they're not doing of that nature. Let me share some stats with you about gossip. 21% of people say that they routinely engage in gossip in the workplace. That's astounding. 15% say that they occasionally engage in gossip in the workplace. And 86% of gossip has to do with the organization's challenges. But you can't guess how many minutes people engage in gossip on average. Take a moment and think about that. It's 15 minutes. So if 21% of people are routinely engaging in gossip and it's 15 minutes each and it takes at least two people, if not more, to be engaged in gossip, Imagine how much lost productivity that is. So that's an impact on the business in addition to what they're gossiping about, which is rarely going to be creating something of value. It's actually denigrating the person and the organization when people engage in gossip. So the next thing is, what can you do about it? First, you can ignore it. If you don't engage or you redirect the conversation, you can sometimes stop it at that point. Study it. See whether or not it actually qualifies as gossip. There's a particular energy that goes with gossip, like you kind of feel it, but just make sure that it's actually gossip and not a workplace conversation. Does your organization have a policy against gossip directly? Or it may be inside of your core values or your culture statement where respecting people and communication or being, you know, speaking positively is a part of it, in which case gossip would go directly against that core value or that culture statement. Watch your own conversations. Avoid joining in to a conversation that is engaging in gossip. You could try to redirect it, as we said in the first um, way of stopping gossip, and or you could actually say, hey, you know, we really shouldn't be talking this way about this person. They would feel bad and you would feel bad if they knew. Next, keep your private life at home. Make sure that your conversations are professional in nature. That'll avoid people having anything to gossip about with you that you've said about your own life. You can address it directly when you're aware of it and say something about the core values or about your culture statement and stop it right there. If you can't seem to address it and have it stop, then keep a positive attitude and 
keep your conversation positive because when you do that and you refrain from taking something personally, remember it's more about the person who's gossiping than it is about the person they're gossiping about. And lastly, you can take it up with HR, a manager, or the owner of the business. It takes something to stop gossip and its tracks in the workplace. But if you've tried all of these things, then you'll go a long way toward minimizing gossip and at the very least, people won't gossip with you. So a quick quote, be careful who you trust. If people will discuss others with you, rest assured they will discuss you with others. Thank you for watching this video. And if you got value from it, please like it, share it, and subscribe. If you'd like to find out more about how business coaching can benefit you and your business, then please use the calendar link below to schedule a 15 minute discovery call with me and we'll explore it. That's it for today. Bye for now. See you next time.